Good morning. It is Friday, December 28th, 2018. And it is snowing slash icing, ice raining, whatever, uh, raining um, here. But the plus side is 23 degrees today instead of 19 like yesterday. I guess I gotta look at the silver lining somehow. Um, so yesterday I um, worked out a little bit. I did a little bit of cardio and it felt great. Can't wait to get into like full force working out. And then, um, yeah, and then today I had cream of wheat for breakfast. First time I've ever had cream of wheat. And basically it tasted like my shredded wheat cereal, like the stuff that gets left at the bottom of my shredded wheat cereal in the milk um, without all the sugar. But that's basically what it tasted like. So, um... I'm like, I can just eat shredded wheat cereal. <laughs> like, I don't know. But um, it wasn't bad. Um, it's not something that I would eat every single day, but it wasn't bad. Um, so yesterday, so the other day I made a bunch of meatballs. And I put two in a bowl, thinking I will be able to eat two meatballs for lunch at least. You know, I mean, it's they're small. They're not huge meatballs. But I should be able to eat two meatballs for lunch. And so I put them in bowls for Thursday and Friday with some sauce and some cheese and some extra protein. I, you know, put extra protein in there. And I was like, okay, I'm going to be good. So yesterday I had the meatballs for lunch and I was only able to eat one. <laughs> one. So no big deal. I mean, it is what it is. So I ate one and I was full. So what I need to do is I need to actually eat breakfast because come 9.30ish, I'm really, really hungry. And so what I'm doing is I'm drinking water to fill myself up. But I don't want, I know if I eat a full breakfast that I won't be hungry until lunchtime. So I just need, because yesterday I tried oatmeal with cottage cheese and um, I didn't, make the oatmeal first I just put the oatmeal in with the cottage cheese thinking that the cottage cheese was wet enough to saturate the oatmeal and boy was I wrong so I ate some spoon some some spoon you know a couple of spoonfuls of it as much as I could tolerate with the nasty crunchiness of the oatmeal but um I didn't finish the whole entire bowl obviously I'm not gonna be able to finish the whole entire bowl regardless um, you know, I probably will be able to eat, you know, a half a packet of instant oatmeal or instant, you know, cream of wheat or any of that stuff. Like a half a packet sounds about right. So, and I think that's pretty much what I ate this morning was a half a packet of the cream of wheat. So, you know, I am just, you know, so yesterday when I was done, I just threw it away and just called it good. But now I know I need to make the oatmeal first before I go ahead and <coughs> add it to the cottage cheese. Um, last night for dinner I had chicken nuggets. I only had three chicken nuggets so um, I did not overfill myself and um, that's it really. Uh, I can't wait to get into the gym. I go to the doctors on the 17th of January and I'm hoping they clear me to actually go ahead and start working out full force. Um, you know, I really am hoping that I can start exercising and doing what I would like to do. Um, I don't know what the next phase is because they didn't give me any paperwork and they're not very good at giving you any information. So I don't know if then when I go in there, they're going to be like, okay, now you can have full food or, you know, what it is. At this point, I'm still keeping everything really mushy, really soft. I'm not having anything outrageous or crazy, um, you know, because I am 
still only three weeks out. So I'm not doing uh, four weeks out. This week will be four weeks. So I'm not doing anything crazy totally. Um, but I am making sure that I am trying to get sustainable nutrients and as I've discussed over the past couple of days you know trying to get that stuff in and so the, the point of me getting the cream of wheat was to try and get more iron in and I know that cream of wheat has great calcium and iron so um, I know it's not the best as far as carbs go but at this point um, you know where I'm limited on what I can and cannot eat I'm kind of with my hands tied as I've said before on you know making sure that I stay within that low carb range um, ideally I would really like to be eating um, spinach and kale and broccoli and all of that stuff raw but unfortunately at this point I'm not able to do that um, because I'm not cleared for any of that stuff yet so I have another two weeks of this where I have to eat like this and then hopefully they will say go ahead and eat you know fruits and vegetables they probably will still say you know hold off on the peanuts and stuff but fruits and vegetables so that would be ideal I wish they sanded these streets like this is ridiculous um, I'm doing 35 in a 50 because you know they can't sand the salt the streets um, so, you know, that would be the ideal situation. That's really about it. Until then, I'm just going to continue doing what I'm doing. Um, I will be trying the, um, refried beans this weekend. I'm going to puree them though and, uh, make them smooth and creamy and add some cream, um, cream, not cream cheese, uh, sour cream and some cheese to it just to give it some more additional texture and um, you know give me some other options for something to eat I have stayed away from soups because I really don't like soups anymore I have not had any protein shakes um, I have not you know had any of that stuff at all so I've kind of been you know not drinking them I did buy some decaf coffee yesterday so we'll see where that leads me with, um, you know, getting, maybe adding it to my shake and seeing how that, you know, changes the taste of stuff. I also seen somebody put Jello with Greek yogurt. So that's a great idea. Um, and she didn't mix it together. Basically what she did, she was just scooping one and another. But she said it just helps change the taste of the Greek yogurt without, you know, having to have the fruit that you can't eat yet. So that's a great idea. Um, I do have Greek yogurt at home, but it is flavored with um, fruit, but not with fruit chunks. It's just, you know, fruit period or whatever. I don't know. But, um, you know, I do have that type of fruit of Greek yogurt and I still don't like it. So... Um, maybe if I try it with some put uh, jello, you know, like, I don't know, strawberry jello with banana, Greek yogurt, you know, strawberry and bananas, um, or kiwi and banana, you know, whatever. So we'll see. I'll try that. That's another option. Um, on Pinterest, I've seen a couple of recipes to make your own kind of mousse type thing. I haven't done it yet I have to like I hate that Pinterest makes you they show you what it is and then you have to click on something else and then you have to click on something else and it's just annoying like I I click on it I just want to see it right then and there I don't want to have to click through five different websites to get to what she originally told me it's just that's frustrating um, and a lot of the stuff on Pinterest is like that. I just want to see what you are posting. If you're posting it, if you know, if you're putting it up there, then just freaking put it up there. Like, don't make me go to five different websites to find what you, what I originally clicked on. It's just annoying. So, a couple of them, that's basically what um, the problem was. So, I just X out of it because it's just too annoying to, to go through. But, um, I'll find it. I'll find it. That's why I stay away from Pinterest a lot just because it's 
it's more complicated. I can just do a Google search and find what I want and not have, you know, 50 million web pages to click through and ads to look at and, and all kinds of crap. It's right there. I can click on what I want and it's, voila, it's done. Um, and Pinterest, you know, yeah, if it, you know, a lot of times it's not posted right in the image or at the link for the the image that you've clicked on. So now you got to click somewhere else and you got to do this. Or sometimes it's ads that you're clicking on and you don't even know it because, you know, it's, it's just stupid. So, um, that's why I don't like Pinterest. Um, but I get why they have it because you have everything all in one area. It's easy, accessible in one spot. You don't have to Google it. You don't have to worry about it. But you know what? That's what Google favorites are for. <laughs> Seriously. Like, Google favorites. Think of it. You find a website you like, you put it in your favorites, and voila, it's at your fingertips. Um, anyway, on to the next thing. So that's really about it. Not much else. This weekend is going to consist of taking Christmas stuff down and... Um, you know, getting my living room back to normal. That's really what this weekend's going to consist of. Not a whole lot going on today, especially because of this weather. Um, we're supposed to go check out um, some clearance deals at Walmart, you know, 20 miles away from here. So, um, you know, that will be this evening's jam packed time. And that's really about it. I'm not doing anything else. I'm not trying to overdo it. A little workout here and there is what I'll be doing for uh, cardio. And, um, you know, maybe I'll record some of it at some point. Um, but that's it. So, you know what I say? The best investment you can make is an investment in you. What are you investing in you today? Um, today I'm investing in driving safely because these roads are ridiculous. They have not sanded them. They have probably not plowed in quite some time. Um, luckily it's not a whole lot of snow coming down. Um, but that's really what it is. And I'm driving slow and pissing people off behind me and I frankly don't give a damn. Um, so you guys have a great Friday and a great weekend because I know I will not check in with you again until Monday. Um, I just won't have the time to do it after everything that we're you know, getting everything done. So I hope you guys have a great day and a great weekend and I will check in.